Linda Birch is here from the Bruce Company taking your calls at 270-9933. Happy 4th of July Eve. Happy 4th of July Eve, <laughs> yes. Good. And you have plans to match. I did bring some red, white, and blue petunias. That's what does it for you. But I also have a plant that has a terrible name. It's called wormwood, but it's also called artemisia. That is a real nice contrast in your garden. And the flocks are starting to bloom. So this one, this pink one back here, yeah, we're still on those uh, red, white, and there you go. Keep yeah. going. There's, oh, there's a oh, dahlia there's and the bright eyes <laughs> blocks. Yep, they're all here but putting on a nice show. So summer flowering um, are in high, high um, show right now. We're going to have a nice display. This rain has things growing like yeah, crazy. It, my lilies are just unbelievable. They're very tall Everything is growing. Mm -hmm. All right, 270-9933, the number to call. We'll get to your questions right after the break. Stay with us. Linda Barch is taking your plant and garden questions at 270-9933. We'll start with Mary in Madison. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hi, which question? I was wondering when is a good time to divide a rhubarb plant? I would do that in the fall of the year. Oh, okay. And yeah. then plant, plant it then too? Yes, plant it at that time and make sure you don't plant it too deep. You okay. Want, yes. Okay, great. Thank and full, you. And full sun. Full sun, yes. Oh. All right. Our next caller is, let's see. Judy in Cross Plains. Hi, Judy. What's your question? Yes, I was wondering, now that the peonies are done blooming, how soon can the bushes be cut back? Okay, well, I would cut off the spent flowers, and if there's any portions of the plant that look black, there's a, a common disease, especially with all the rain that we've had this year, botrytis. You'd want to remove any of that, but otherwise leave the rest of the, the leaves because it's the plant is expanding, and it needs those leaves to create food for the, for the rest of the plant for next year. All right, Steve in Deerfield. Hi, Steve. Steve, you there? Oops, Steve went away. He wanted to know about cutting invasive trees, what to put on the stumps. All right, when you're cutting those back, um, things probably like um, buckthorn is a common one that people are cutting back. You want to paint that. It's, don't let it get dry, and it's actually a little bit probably better later in the season, but if you're doing it now, paint it with a stump killer. There's product that you can get with that. With really? Mm-hmm. Yes, we carry it at the Bruce Company. All right, Dale in Dodgeville. Hi, Dale. Hi. Hi. Uh, I wonder, when you go to pick uh, rhubarb, do you pull it? It's kind of controversial. Pull it or do you cut it? <laughs> and you know, that's a real controversy. My mom always told me that I had to pull it, but she wanted me to do it carefully. So I, you can cut it. It doesn't really hurt the plant, but she preferred that because then you had less um, rotting at the base. And then also when, when the, um, it starts to produce fl flower heads, cut those off immediately because that redirects energy from the plant. All right. Let's go to uh, Diana in Stoughton. Hi, Diana. Diana, are you there? Yeah. Hi, what's your question? Um, I was asking uh, about a peace lily. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering... Why does the leaves turn brown? Yes, that's at the tip. That's very common with those plants. When there gets to be too much salt buildup in the soil, they're they're very sensitive, and then they show that as almost a, like a brown scorch. So clean off any of that salt from the top of the soil, and then also just wash, run a lot of water through there to get rid of all the salts. And that helps a little bit and cut the brown ones off. Yeah, and, and what about repotting? Periodically, but you know how big they can get. Yeah, all right. I do, <laughs> yes. Terry in Monona. Hi, Terry. Hi. Hi, what's your question? I have a marginata plant. Um, it needs to be repotted so bad, but the soil that's in it looks like actual dirt from the outdoors. It doesn't look like it was soil. Okay. It was purchased at a nursery that way, so I don't know what I should use for the soil. I think I would just use potting soil because sometimes the soil that, you, that are it's outside, we tend to have a heavier clay, and I would be concerned that it might rot. So I would just use a good quality potting soil. I don't know. What soil. is a marginina plant? That's a type of dracaena, and it has um, green and then reddish on the edges, sort of long grass-like. Okay, I've never heard of that. M marginata, yeah. Marginata. All right. We're out of time. Have a great Fourth of July. You too. You're gone next week. Yes, I am. Okay. Lisa will be Lisa here. Lisa will be here. Enjoy yourself. Yes, you too.